For the Bates family in Nova Scotia, this is precious cargo. It's Christmas presents for grandchildren and, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, their parents. The weight of the parcel is compounded by a fuel surcharge of almost 40% to have Canada Post ship it overseas. I'm going to say that to ship that box to where it's going will probably be in the $125 range. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation suggests the Crown Corporation is going too far. With 40% 40 uh, 40 being added, we're going to see tens of millions of dollars in increased profit uh, for Canada Post. Canada Post says a fuel surcharge has been standard practice for nearly 20 years and simply reflects market dynamics, like the price of diesel that's risen to more than $2 per litre. For customers, it makes holiday parcels yet another hit in a year full of cost increases. It has gone up, I have noticed. Um, I just did it um, for the first time in a few months now, and it was about $12, $15 more. Canada the Post is not alone in adding a fuel surcharge on parcels. At Purolator, which is 90% owned by Canada the Post, a package weighing 2 kilograms sent from Halifax to Toronto costs $50 plus another $18 in fuel surcharge after taxes, that's $82.78. The fuel amount, 35% of the base price. PureLater says its surcharge is set monthly based on a four-week average diesel price. Some customers are looking for ways to avoid the extra costs. And found out the prepaid boxes are the best way to go. They don't have a fuel surcharge and you can put a certain amount in for a certain amount of money, up to $34 anywhere in Canada. Another escalating price that's taxing the creativity of Canadians. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.